Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. There are government studies like the census which show migration patterns. These comprehensive studies focus on completeness. They're very thorough. But there are other studies from moving companies like U-Haul which illustrate migration patterns in a statistically significant way. The numbers might not be as comprehensive, but they do show the trends. Well, Allied Van Lines issued their migration report for 2022 earlier this month, which shows some distinct patterns. But Allied Van Lines is a premium moving service. Would the more budget-conscious movers that use U-Haul mirror the same trends, or would the data be different for both U-Haul and Allied Van Lines? Well, on today's show, we're going to look at both and compare. The top outbound states, according to the Allied Van Lines study, showed California, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Illinois topping the list. New York has traditionally been thought of as an outbound state and historically has topped the list. New York had 45% inbound and 55% outbound, so they absolutely lost population, but they didn't make the top five list, at least according to Allied Vine Lines. Texas, Florida, Arizona, North Carolina, South Carolina made the top inbound state list. Other states that boast strong inbound numbers include Idaho, with 69.2% inbound and 30.8% outbound. Montana was a growth state, with 93% inbound and 7% outbound, albeit with smaller numbers. Now, I've always believed that successful real estate investing requires an influx of jobs and an influx of population. Shrinking cities offer much more limited opportunities. Yes, there are areas that are still in demand, but a falling tide is a falling tide. Large cities struggle to attract new residents in 2022. The cities of Detroit, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. also saw major losses. Even Phoenix, the most popular inbound city in 2021, dropped a few spaces to number six this year. And while house prices obviously played a role, so too did the pandemic, which led to more Americans working from home. Many of the migration patterns in the U.S. can be traced back to the pandemic. Now that they no longer need to come to the office, people are free to live where they prefer. Previously, they had to stay in the city. Now they can choose to live further out, in communities with cheaper housing and better access to nature. Before the pandemic, most Americans bought houses 15 miles from their old homes. Today, they're buying houses 50 miles and greater from their old homes, outside the major metro areas. The suburbs are cheaper, they're greener, and they offer more living space than the cities. So it's not that surprising that consumers are taking advantage of the opportunity moving further out. Now when we look at the U-Haul data, there are some similarities and some differences. Growth states, calculated by the net gain of one-way U-Haul trucks entering a state versus those leaving the state in the calendar year. Migration trends is compiled from well over 2 million one-way U-Haul truck rentals that occur over the calendar year. Well, U-Haul confirmed the same top states. Migration to southern states continued to be magnified by the pandemic, and no state netted more U-Haul customers last year than the state of Texas. The Lone Star State was also the leading growth state in 2021, narrowly beating out Florida for top honors. Tennessee ranked number three, South Carolina number four, Arizona number five, and North Carolina number six. But people are not just moving for climate because there are warm states like Mississippi and Alabama that did not experience the same growth as Texas and Florida. So other factors like jobs, business-friendly environment, cost of living, and tax-friendly environment clearly come into the picture. A lot of people moving to Florida and Texas from California and New York. We see a lot of people coming from the Chicagoland area. The state of Illinois lost population for the ninth year in a row, 2022, saw a loss of 104,000 people in Illinois, fairly consistent with the 113,000 that left the state in 2021, and up from the 50,000 people who left in 2019. California remained the top state for out-migration, but its net loss of U-Haul trucks wasn't as severe in 2020, and that can be partly attributed to the fact that U-Haul simply ran out of trucks to meet customer demand for outbound equipment. The lack of inventory was enough to skew the numbers of people leaving California, but not enough to draw a different conclusion. As real estate investors, I believe it's vitally important to invest in growing markets. All markets across the nation have cooled in the past year, but some of the hottest markets like Austin, Nashville, Boise have all experienced a slowdown. 
Nevertheless, these markets remain a good bet for a long-term investment. The reasons people are moving to these markets have not disappeared, despite the economic cycle and despite the higher interest rates. So we've looked at both U-Haul and Allied Van Lines and have been able to draw the exact same conclusion about which states are growing the fastest and shrinking the fastest. And even though a full-service moving company and a do-it-yourself move are different, there is a strong correlation between these two types of moves. As you think about that, have an awesome rest of your day. Go make some great things happen. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.